So Go High Level just released its suite of AI features called AI Employee, and they're giving access to all of these features until the end of the year completely free. So in this video, I wanna show you how to set up the most important feature of them all, in my personal opinion, the voice AI system. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to activate the feature for your sub account, how to set up the voice AI system, as well as how to prompt the AI system so that you can ask your leads the right qualifying questions or ask your existing customers you know, what they need help with. So I'm gonna show you how to set all of that up. Now, also, if you have been on the fence with Go High Level and you've wanted to test it out, now is the best time to sign up for a trial. You can use my link down below. You can get an extended trial as well if you use my link. But there are some awesome holiday sales that are coming out in the next few days. So now's the best time to start a trial. Now's the best time to get the best pricing. It's as simple as that. So use my link down below if you want to get access to all of the courses that I have as well as snapshots and systems. And I also do a weekly call with all the affiliates of mine. And I just posted this right here um, from one of my SaaS customers who closed an $8,500 deal using my Go High Level white label SaaS and my UPEC. So when you partner with me, you get access to what I'm doing in real time using these systems that I'm sharing with you guys to help customers actually make more money. So if you're interested, like I said, you can either join school directly, there will be a link below, or you can partner with me using my Go High Level affiliate link. It's the best time to get the best pricing, simple as that. So how do we um, set this feature up and how do we actually you know, get this thing in our account? So the first thing is once you have your Go High Level account created, you should see this season of AI feature on your um, agency view. And so once you have this enabled, then you can go into one of your sub accounts and you should see the season of AI tab right here and you can click on opt in for the AI employee now. So keep in mind, this video is only gonna show you how to use the voice AI feature because this one, in my opinion, is the most powerful of them all. And I also have other videos on you know, creating your own AI booking bot and stuff like that. And so I just believe this is the one that deserves the most attention because if they get this right and it can do inbound calls and outbound calls and it really saves business owners time and money, um, I think this one's just gonna make you know a huge difference. So that's why I wanna focus on this one. So what you do is you opt in for the AI employee and since I own you know, my Go High Level account, um, I'm not gonna charge this location because I'm just gonna pay for it from my you know, agency level. So I don't need to charge this location. This is just a simple um, you know, testing sub account anyway. So um, I'd recommend doing it this way, testing it out in your own sub account and then you know, slowly integrating your uh, actual clients on it if you're you know, managing an agency or if you're just a business owner um, that is using Go High Level, you could do the same setting as well. But the main difference here is either one will charge uh, the card on file for this particular location or this one will charge, uh, will charge the agency level. So I'm just gonna do this. And then now we have two options. We have the subscription option or the pay as you go option. And so I'm gonna do the pay as you go um, because if you do the math here of the, uh, for example, just the one feature that I'm gonna highlight in this video, the voice AI, um, let's say that you know it's 13 cents per minute. So um, you know if somebody is, let's say that somebody uses the AI feature for 10 minutes, right? That's only a dollar and 30 cents, right, for 10 minutes. And so if you don't have, um, you know, if the amount that you would pay from using these features doesn't add up to the total subscription, um, in my opinion, there's just no point in paying for the subscription um, because you're going to pay less for the pay as you go. Plus the pay as you go um, is actually a better model for your customers if you're providing this to, you know, people that are using your go high level because they can, you know, use it here and there and some months they may use it a lot and it's based on them actually using it, not based on just a subscription. So I'm gonna go with the pay as you go option. And like I said, this is totally free until the end of the year, all of these features. I'm only gonna show you this one video, um, but you get, or excuse me, that one feature, but you're gonna get all of these features when you opt in for free, okay? So I'm just gonna click on that and then boom, there you go. So start using AI employee. So now I've opted in, okay? So after 
um, basically on January 1st, right, if I use the voice AI feature, I'm going to be billed 13 cents per minute, okay, at the agency level because I decided not to um, pay at the location level. So now that that's out of the way, let's actually use the feature and set it up, okay? So the first thing you do is you go to your settings and you're going to go to the voice AI agents section. And you can see here that I already have my AI agent set up. But for you, you can just click on create agent. Now, down below, I also have a link to this cheat sheet so you guys can access this. It will be posted in my free school group. So you can join that group and get access to this cheat sheet so you can copy and paste um, this prompt. And I'll walk you through this. But if you want access to this, just click below, get the uh, you know, link to the free school group, and it'll have this uh, you know, document here. Okay. So now that we are in the voice AI agent section, um, you click create agent and then basically you're going to see um, the agent details. So this is where you name the agent. So I just like to call mine Jackie so you can put the name for whatever uh, you want to call your AI here. And then you have your business name. So I work with real estate investors and so my company is called New Breed Investor. So I'm just going to put New Breed Investor there. Then we have the voice and I chose Scarlet. You can go through all these and play them and see how they sound. Um, but I can just play this one here. I don't know if the mic will pick it up, but let's see. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Okay, so there's the voice here. And I want to make one quick preface here. I don't think the goal of this is to trick people into thinking it's not AI or it's not an automated system. Um, that's not my intention with it. That's not how I've ever really used AI. I think the real sustainable way um, is to have just some sort of, uh, you know, disclaimer or something that just says, you know, this is an automated system and then just go right into the question. Like, I don't think it really makes sense to try to trick people that it's not AI. That's just my personal opinion. So I don't really care if the voice sounds like a human because what I've observed from, you know, the thousands of leads I've generated for my clients is that the actual lead doesn't really care if they're talking to an automated system or anything like that, if it gets them what they want faster. So I think the real value here is being able to have a system that runs 24 seven and answers phone calls and you know gets, gets people where they wanna go, right? Like if they need to book an appointment, if they need to uh, get support, whatever it is, um, I think if it's automated and people, the, the people that they're trying to get in touch with actually call them or follow up or solve their problem faster, people aren't really gonna care if it's AI. So that's just my personal opinion. Now, the next uh, part of the setup here is the direction. So the only way that this system can function currently is with inbound calls. When we demo the, the system, um, it will call my cell phone, so it will almost appear like an outbound call, but the only way that this will actually work um, you know, live is gonna be when leads call your number that's associated with your Go High Level account. So I can't select any other option, but this appears to be coming soon. So I just leave inbound call selected. And then here we have the agent's initial message. So you can see here, I've just typed out, hi, this is Jackie with New Breed Investor. Want to demo our AI receptionist? Just say yes to get started, okay? The reason I have the message this way is because I'm gonna simulate it for you guys on my phone and it's gonna call me. And so it doesn't really make sense to call me and then say, hey, how can I help you, right? Because they're calling me. But um, like I said, in when this is actually turned on, the only way it's gonna work is through inbound calls, all right? So that is what I have as the initial message, then just click save. And like I said, if you want this, you can just join the free group, get access to it, and you can just copy and paste um, you know, all these different uh, things here that I'm showing in the video. So now I'm gonna move on to agent goals. And this is where I, this is the main part of the system you're gonna customize is the goals. So here I have the prompt, it's already in here. This is just a general prompt that I made. So you guys have it for this video. You can see it's attached here. But the idea of the prompt is basically just to give the AI system some context, like who they are, what they're doing, right? You are an appointment booking concierge for an AI lead generation company called New Breed Investor. And then, you know, who they're communicating with and then basically, you know, why the person's calling or what's, what's going on in the background, right? That's really all the system needs to know to function um, correctly, right? Then their job is to be a helpful assistant, keep them engaged with questions. Then I have the questions listed out here. And you can see here that I have, would you like to speak to a live representative to show you how we can customize this for your business? 
after I've asked them all these questions. And then you'll see here I have an action which will transfer the call to my cell phone. Um, and so this will function as a live transfer. Now, currently this you know feature, right, this AI booking bot feature does not have the ability to book an actual appointment without some form of a workaround. It's not a native feature. So that is one of the like, missing things here is that you can't just you know click book an appointment and then when somebody wants to book the appointment it just goes into your go high level calendar so that's a limitation as it is right now but i'm sure that will be added soon so for the sake of the demo i just have the call transfer turned on so you guys can see how once it uh asks me these questions um you know how it transfers the call to me okay but you could see the prompt here and then i basically just have a uh you know a disqualifying um, statement which is don't allow the lead to book an appointment if the following is true which is the number of phone calls they get per day is less than five so what this means is when I'm qualifying this lead right um, and I'm asking the business owner hey how many phone calls do you get per day if they say four right in this example that may not be enough phone calls for this feature to make sense right if I'm trying to sell them this type of service or system right but you don't have to have this this is just a prompt so you guys understand what you can do with it um, and so this is a very generalized prompt. I highly recommend if you've seen my videos to be super specific, super niched. Um, I would never personally have a prompt that's this general. Like I really make it specific for who my, you know, my potential customer would be. So that's just a suggestion there. So I'd make these questions really, really specific to what you do and you know, what problem your end customer has, okay? Now, the last few things here is we can trigger a workflow when the call is completed. Um, so when the call ends, we could trigger a set of automations inside of th this sub account. I'm not gonna demo that for now. And you can also you know, set up an email notification when the call is completed. So I'm not gonna do that now, but you can do that as well. And so this is where you actually set this up to go live. So we are gonna demo it here in this uh, testing feature, but this is where you set it up for it to go live. So keep in mind, once you save this and your you know, agent's turned on and everything's like ready to go, um, if somebody does call the phone number associated with your account, um, it will like start, okay? So last section here, and then we'll demo this out, is the phone and availability. And you can see here I've opted in for the season of AI, so I have everything um, you know, for free, and so I'm good to use it. Then you can see my you know, demo phone number here. And the last thing you can do, which I think is really, really cool if you're offering this to a business, is you could make this just simply an after hours bot. So maybe they have someone you know, 40 hours a week that already answers phone calls. If that's an objection, you can just say, well, you know, no worries, we can use this system just after hours. So for example, um, you know, maybe their employee leaves the office at 5 p.m. So you could just turn the system you know, on from 5 p.m. to maybe they start work at 9 a.m. And so you could just do from 5.05 p.m. to 8.55 a.m. Or I have to, hold on. I guess it's wanting, with the other calendar, you could do it this way, but it's wanting me to do it. Um, so I would have to go, let's see. Yeah, so I think you have to do it as two separate availabilities. So if you wanted to do it in the way I'm imagining it, you would do you know from midnight to basically 8.55 a.m. So this is like midnight right before work starts or somebody's available at the phone and then right when somebody gets off at 5.05 p.m. and then you would just go all the way to uh, midnight or as close to midnight as possible, right? And so the idea would be, hey, like I know you already have somebody that's you know working between 9, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. but do you have someone that calls you after hours, right? And um, maybe they get calls and they miss those calls and that costs them business. So this, that one thing alone, I mean, even doing it during lunch, I mean, this is the power of what this can do. I mean, and it's cost 13 cents per minute. So, you know, it, it shouldn't be having, you know, 20 minute, 30 minute phone calls with people. These really are probably going to be all under five minutes. So if you think about it that way, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty much less than a dollar, right. To have these real conversations. So, um, if it has five of those, right, per per day, um, you know, that's that's really like 150 bucks a month for 24 seven predictable answering following a proven process. So this is super, super powerful. So you can use this however you'd like. And that's it. That's how that's what we need to do to get this thing going. So um, I now have it saved. And so I'm going to test this out. I'm going to put in my number here and then I'm going to call 
my number and we'll test it out together. All right, so it should be calling me right now. All right, so here it is. Hello? Hi, this is Jackie with New Breed Investor. Want to demo our AI receptionist? Just say yes to get started. Yes. Great. Can you tell me a bit about what your business does? We find off-market deals for real estate investors with Facebook ads. That sounds interesting. How many phone calls do you typically get per day? Probably like six to ten. Got it. Do you have a system in place to handle calls after hours? Not currently, no. All right, thanks for sharing. Would you like to speak to a live representative who can show you how we can customize this service for your business? Sure. Please wait while I transfer the call to Quinn. Great. I'm connecting you to a live representative. So now it's actually calling me, like the this number is calling me. So that's the transfer taking place. Now, the reason the transfer is set up is because, like I said, um, the ability to do anything other than the tran or excuse me the ability to book the appointment is not currently there yet so the transfer is kind of the next best thing you can figure out other ways to do it like trigger a workflow or send a text with a calendar link but i do think that's kind of a missing piece if you do intend on using it for appointment booking because the reality is um you know if you do transfer it to you know an employee or something and they don't answer it kind of defeats the purpose um, so I think that's the biggest feature that's missing with it. But in terms of the function, it works well. Um, you know, it follows the prompt and it answers, right? Which is probably 90% of the value is it just answers 24 seven or whatever hours you set. So that is the feature. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think or what you think's missing. And like I said, if you want to get access to this free cheat sheet, just join the free group down below and you'll see it linked. And then in addition to that, if you want, to try out go high level or just join um, directly via my school community now is the best time because it's the season of good pricing for everything so i would go for it now if you've been on the fence um, and i'll see you guys soon all right bye bye